Check out collegelab.org for practice worksheets and more content. Hey guys, how's it going? So I've decided to follow up on my most popular video, which also happens to be the topic I get asked most about. That's right, permutations and combinations. So here are three things you need to know in order to master the topic. First up, factorials. You may have seen these around. They're denoted by an exclamation point and can be found after a number. To solve for a factorial, you'll need to find the product of all the whole numbers from the number before the exclamation point all the way down to 1. So in this example, we have 3 factorial. All that means is we're finding the product of the numbers from 3 to 1. So here, it's 3 times 2 times 1. The second thing you'll need to know are the formulas for permutations and combinations. You'll have to memorize these, but luckily they're pretty similar, so once you've memorized one, you'll pretty much have memorized both. So permutations are denoted as NPR, N being the pool you're picking from, and R being the number of items picked. So given NPR, we have N factorial over N minus R factorial. Combinations are denoted the same way, NCR, and the formula is N factorial over N minus R factorial times R factorial. So as you can see, the only difference between the two formulas is the extra r factorial in the denominator for combinations. The third thing you'll need to know about permutations and combinations is when to use one over the other. With permutations, the selection order matters, while with combinations, the order doesn't matter. For example, in the semifinals of a 100 meter race, the top three finishers out of 10 runners qualify for the final round. The order of the top three finishers here doesn't matter, so we'd use combinations to solve this problem. In the finals of that 100 meter race, the first, second, and third place finishers out of the final group of six runners get gold, silver, and bronze medals. The finishing order here matters since each place gets a different medal. We'd use permutations to solve this question. So let's walk through these questions. First up, we have the semifinals question. We know that this is a combination problem, mainly because order here doesn't matter. We're just taking the top three out of 10. So for combinations, the formula is NCR which is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. In this case, we have a pool of 10, so n is 10, and r is 3, because we're picking 3. So that translates to 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Now we can simplify this out, so we have 10 factorial on top, and we just need to subtract 10 from 3, so we get 7 factorial times 3 factorial. Now to further simplify, 10 factorial is the same as 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all over 7 factorial, which is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, times 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1. Now we can reduce, get rid of everything from the 7 to 1 on the top and bottom of the fraction, and we're left with 720 over 6, which reduces down to, just divide 720 by 6, we get 120. And that's the answer. And on to the finals question. Here, we're giving out medals to the top three finishers, so we know it's a permutations problem since the order matters. So we have NPR is equal to N factorial over N minus R factorial. Now we could just plug in the numbers. We have 6 in the pool of runners, so 6P3, which translates to 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial, which then becomes 6 factorial over 3 factorial. We know that 6 factorial is just 6 times all the numbers below it to 1. 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1. We can reduce and remove the 3 times 2 times 1s, and we're left with, let's see, 6 times 5, which is 30, times 4, which is 120. And that's your answer. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Here's some practice questions for you to try out some of the stuff we just went over. I'll post a PDF of these questions and the answers over at collegelab.org. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can.